I, I guess you got to start this out with thank you. For, thank you for everybody. And there's actually people watching this on Ustream all over the place. Um, so I, I owe everybody in this room thank you. I owe Andy, whose encouragement the first time I mentioned this was, nah, it'll never work. <laughs> <laughs> Devil's advocate. Exactly. You know, contrary position. There's, there's so much going on with you guys and the, I put the numbers down, but it's about 6,000 CrossFitters today, about 6,500 CrossFitters. We're well over a million and a half dollars when the checks are all counted. And, it, you know, you guys are getting ready to do Fight Gone Bad. You're thinking about the speeches. You're watching me cry because my daughter came up and gave me an award and Andy and everybody else. So can I, can I ask you all just to take a moment of silence and focus on what we're really here for? And, and probably the easiest way to explain that is I made a new, every year I make new friends at this event. And this year, I, uh, there's a guy at the Special Operations Task Force in Afghanistan who wrote and asked, asked if they could do Fight Gone Bad. Now, if you guys have done the hero workouts, that's the unit from which Murph and Josh and those guys were killed. And they lost the guy this week. And it didn't even make the papers. Fight Gone Bad is hard, and CrossFit is hard, and asking your friends for money is hard. But if money solved the problem, So before I say anything else, will you guys just, you know, just a few moments of silence, not just for him, but for all those people we lost to cancer this year that aren't here this year, that were here last year, and those people that are forgotten in a desert someplace, just... So what I really wanted to say, I mean, I, I knew I was going to get a chance to say something. Fight Gone Bad takes 17 minutes. This money, this, like I said, like I was going to say, if money solved the problem, the problem would be solved. I wonder sometimes if the money puts more distance between us and the problem than it should, and if it actually really solves anything. Because you can't buy your way out of this. And how Fight Gone Bad came to be is, and you got, everybody in this room knows this, is somewhere around 10 minutes there's some voice screaming in the back of your head that you can't do anymore. That you're connected with some pain that you will empathize with at least to some degree for the rest of your life. And what I'm gonna ask everybody, all 6,000 of you to do, is I thank you for giving and I thank you for asking your friends for money. But this is what connects us. We have everything. If you got to do cross, if you got to do fight gone bad, if you get to go to CrossFit, if you get all of those gifts and blessings, sometime in your 17 minutes today, you think about the 13-year-old kid who's not going to see 14, or or Murph, or Josh, or the 470 other guys in Afghanistan who did this workout last night, that are going to come home to no jobs, no money, no services. That's why I do this, because as Andy said, during the time that, that we were training together, there's, if you sit still long enough, or you suffer bad enough, and CrossFit is certainly adequate to that task, there's a bell that goes on that you're connected with everybody else's pain and suffering. And that bell can't be unrung. And for some of you today, that bell is going to go off. You're going to connect to all of those people that are nameless and faceless to you and, and who you are donating to. But I know those people and I know that they know what you're doing and we got the letters and we get the cards and we get the huge gift of knowing that they're touched by what you do. So this isn't just 17 minutes of fight gone bad. There will be a second in here where that bell goes off for you. I swear to you it will go off and you will connect to that guy who is scared spitless in a desert someplace 3,000 miles from home. Or that little kid who's 12 years old and a doctor just said, you're not going to see 13. That's what Fight Gone Bad is about. It's about connecting us all together. 
the money will help the problem. And it gives what we do some weight. It's what they write about. But it's, it's not them and us anymore. It's just all of us. And I appreciate the opportunity that you guys have given me to, to put that into action even a little bit. Because it's just you working through some guy behind a desk in Oregon. I can't thank you guys enough. I appreciate everything you've done for them. Can't really follow it up by anything better than the Star Smile banner. So Lee, can you come up and lead us? Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled? Then 